everybody, Tim W. Rago here, games, movies, and vlogs, how the hell is everybody? And damn, do I have a surprise video for you guys. Um, okay, do you remember, you remember this, remember this, remember when I found this uh, on my first video that I did for Ape vs. Monster here with the movie announcement video that I did uh, like a few days ago or some shit like that, and you see the date? Do you not see the date on this on this thumbnail premieres May 3rd 2021 uh, well apparently somebody at the asylum decided let's drop the trailer now <laughs> literally look at this and apparently the trailer was dropped yesterday because when I went on this channel it said one day ago so holy shit Wow um and this channel is their actual friggin' channel because see on the right corner uh, how it says official site because sometimes uh, people have like uh, YouTube channels with uh, movie clips and say like this is that company's you know clips or whatever. No, this is their actual YouTube channel or at least uh, where they upload their trailers because I clicked on the thing that says official site and actually it took me to their official website so yeah um somebody at the asylum decided to drop this trailer for eight versus monster a lot earlier so what i'm going to be doing here is a breakdown of the trailer and why because i said i was going to because it like i haven't said it already i am really excited for this movie so let's get to the damn trailer shall we Okay, so here we go. Oh, before I even say anything, um, I'm not going to be playing any audio or none of that because I don't want to get copyright stricken, but uh, I can use screenshots though. Okay, so here we go. Um, here we start off like some Humvees in the desert, which um, I'm not going to lie, reminds me of the Monster Hunter trailer. Like, anybody remember the Monster Hunter, tra the trailer for Monster Hunter with Mila Jovovich in it that recently came out? Remember the trailer and the actual movie starts with uh, some Humvees out in the desert? Well, yeah, I'm getting a lot of vibes uh, from that. And then here's inside one of the Humvees with uh, some, one of the random military type characters, I guess. And then here we go, more, you know, they get out of the desert, well, they get out, um, they get out of the Humvees and go in the desert. And, uh, I want to say this was either filmed in, here in the deserts of Nevada, or in the deserts in California. It was either Nevada, California, or, uh, Arizona, where this was filmed at, because a lot of this terrain looks super familiar. And then you have this random little... A box or whatever the whatever the hell I don't know what the shit this is but just I'm, I, I, I don't know what that is but hiding in it is this random girl and in here is where you get like the first uh, sounds of the two title characters in this movie and I shit you not the first roar that you hear is quite literally the sound of the Allosaurus from Walking with Dinosaurs. Like, you hear two of the roars from the Walking with Dinosaurs Allosaurus. I'm not kidding. When I first, like, wow, okay. And then here's a close-up of that uh, same girl here, you know, in the same shot. And then you hear, like, this dude. Uh, <laughs> who, who holds a, I've never seen anybody hold a loaded weapon like that. Like, with his hand open, looking like he's going to use the magazine as a grip. Which, I have actually heard that um, using the magazine as a grip is sometimes a good thing. And yes, the guy I heard that from was actually in the army. So, if anybody hears that and disagrees with me, I can easily confirm that. So, yeah, it's just so weird the way he has his... And, and this guy has to be, I think, like six-something because it, just the way he's bent over... Or trying to crouch. It just looks like his height is getting in the way of him crouching properly. Then you have this guy who... This other random dude. And right here is uh, the guy... I think this is I think this is an open palm guy who gets grabbed by the ape. And from the way it looks in this trailer, it looks like that um, this was done by a guy in an ape suit. 
for the moment, uh, quite honestly, because, I don't know, it just looks like it was practical effects here. I think it's like the one shot they have practical effects in, and then this guy just gets probably killed or some shit like that, because it, hap sorry, it happens like super quick. And then here we cut to another uh, shot at night of, you know, a bunch of random guys in the military. You know, any monster movie, you know, military, you know, military personnel being shown. Like, no tomorrow. It's like a tradition. And then here is that screenshot that I showed a little bit ago, except, uh, you know, the guard's head is turned to the right. Um, I showed this in my last video, but here it is in full... DVD, DVD uh, quality here. And they're saying, and they did say that Ape um, has grown. My thing, my prediction was right, was actually partially right, that the Ape has grown. But it's not because he's a baby. I thought he was like a baby or something that gets doped up with. Well, actually, no, I think my prediction was right. Um, actually, like, my full prediction was right. Because, uh, well, then there's this. I don't know what this box, this weird container, like, this box has something to do with, like, you see all this weird green shit everywhere? This green slime? I don't know what that is, but it looks very interesting. I, I guess they're gonna make, like, a huge focus with this. And then here we have, you know, uh, this, this random girl. Uh, you can tell that she's in the military or part of a military scientist unit because of, uh, the way she's dressed. And then here you have that main character again. Because uh, this green stuff, I think in my other video um, where I talked about the screenshot of uh, Ape, who they named it Abraham, which is kind of an interesting name for a giant ape. I mean, I mean, it's not really that surprising. I mean, the freaking... Um, giant ape in Rampage was named George for crying out loud. So the fact that they named this giant ape uh, Abraham. Hey, Asylum, did you take inspiration from Rampage to give the giant ape a uh, a human name? You had to. Oh God, think about it for a second. The ape in this movie is named Abraham, and the ape in. Uh, Rampage named George. Did they? Did Hollywood name these things after the presidents? <laughs> after U.S. presidents back in the day? Oh my God! <laughs> but uh, yeah, my prediction apparently was right in uh, my previous video on this uh, movie when I said that it was probably a some type of ape uh, doped up with some kind of growth hormone type shit or some growth something, and this green thing. This green stuff, whatever, that green stuff in this uh, little glass vial there, or jar, or something, is contributing to Abraham growing so much. So, yeah, I guess that my prediction was right. And we got another shot, you know, out here in the desert. I swear, this had to have been California, Arizona, or here in my home state of Nevada. Had to have been. And then we get another shot here of the... Uh, what do you call it? And uh, actually, the, the screenshot before this, I, I'm a sucker for uh, scenery shots, and I love how the scenery looks in that in this movie, at least in the desert scenes. Then here, here we get another uh, shot of the uh, green shit. I, I'm calling it the green shit because of uh, Cinemasker when he talked about the monster movie Reptilicus, which is a movie that I will not watch, but uh, to make it short and sweet, that monster... Um, can shoot green stuff out of its mouth, and Cinemasker referred to it as the green shit. So as a reference to Cinemasker, I am referring to, until I actually watch this movie and hear the, what the name of this growth stuff is called, I'm calling it the green shit. So anyways, we get another shot of the green shit. And then, okay, I was so wrong. Um, In my last video, when I said uh, that the monster was an iguana, um, inspired by, uh, Godzilla 1998, um, I was so wrong, because apparently it's revealed that the monster is a Gila monster. Wow, I did not ever see that coming. 
I did not see that coming. This is actually the only third time where Gila Monsters have actually gotten recognition because you have the original, um, the, the like the original two B movies. You have the giant Gila Monster from the 19, I want to say the 50s, and then you have the uh, 2012 remake called Gila. I don't know why it's called that, but uh, yeah, but they said those uh, Gila Monsters in those films were like. They're not mutated or anything, they just grew to a massive size by nature or some shit like that. But here in this, but here in Ape vs. Monster, that gross stuff mutates a Gila monster to monster, to the giant reptile. Just, wow. I mean, heck, you know, it's a one of the biggest cliches in all of Hollywood history, but hell, go for it. And I love the fact that apparently they use a real Gila monster for this shot. I mean, seriously, I love it when monster movies use real animals for shit. I really do. It makes it a little more... I don't know why, it just makes it more awesome to me. And then here, I think this takes place... I think this uh, shot here takes place right after the Gila monster, like, eats the... Like, licks the uh, growth, the green shit. Because I hope we get to see, like, a shot of this thing growing to gargantuan size. Like, I really do. And this guy, look, at he's like, oh, shit. Like, seriously, you get this crazy night shot of the monster here. And then uh, here we have the Pentagon, because why not? Monster and science fiction films always got to have the Pentagon. That's just because why the hell not? And then you have this dude. Um, this, is, this has to be Eric Roberts. I, I have not looked up the cast of this movie, but... This has to be Eric Roberts. I mean, seriously, who else can this be? If this is not Eric Roberts, I'm going to be shocked. But just from the, his, uh, the side view of his, this guy's face, it has to be Eric Roberts. Then we get another shot out in the desert uh, in a Humvee. Okay, I think all the daylight scenes take place at the same time. And then all the night scenes take place at the same time. Another shot of the... Uh, main character and this girl has to be like the main character because the trailer centers on her a lot and then this right here um apparently the giant gila monster which until i hear its name in the movie i'm calling this thing gilosaurus because why the hell not um and that's just my name for this thing so apparently he can travel underground, which is actually kind of awesome. And no, it's really awesome. No, it's not kind of. Nothing in this movie's kind of. To me, it's really awesome. Like, seriously, a giant lizard that can dig underground. Oh, yeah, it kind of reminds you of uh, in Mothra vs. Godzilla in from 1964 when Godzilla came out of the ground. Doesn't it? And then here we have... Uh, I have two shots of uh, Abraham here. He's, like, beating his chest right here and also this shot here um he makes a mighty joe young roar i don't know what it is with apes in movies nowadays where they have to sound like mighty joe young i mean except king kong i mean every other giant gorilla movie besides uh king kong from or any version of king kong besides king kong it's like why do giant ape movies have to make the mighty joe young roar like seriously they i think they play like one or two roars but seriously it's clearly a uh, mighty joe young from 1998 like literally um then just wow <laughs> i think this is after the chain bit i think uh this is when he breaks his chains and just goes ape shit and then uh right here um this girl the main girl says oh abraham escaped so i think uh i did make that other prediction that the that the ape escapes and starts wrecking starts wrecking house you know what i mean and then there's this other shot of this random i think this is the other girl that was with her in like some shots a while back some shots back here i think this is the same girl then you have this guy um i don't know who this i don't know who this guy is to be perfectly honest um i don't know uh who the hell is this guy and then apparently uh, okay, that's not Arizona. Um, okay. 
I think that's Colorado. If you look on this map of the U.S., I f believe that's Colorado, actually. Because it shows, like, because every good monster movie has to show, like, oh, where are the monsters going? So, yeah, every good monster movie has to show their, traje their trajectory. So, obviously, that's what that is. And then, <laughs> this movie takes place in Washington, D.C., now, the only other time any monster anything uh, ever took place in Washington, D.C. I mean, yeah, the Asylum did World of the World In World of the Worlds uh, 2005, Washington, D.C. just got wasted. And the same thing with Independence Day. Independence Day uh, got wasted. And then also, in the 1998 Godzilla animated series, um, Godzilla destroyed Washington, D.C., so it's like famous cities like New York, San Francisco, and Washington, D.C., and uh, L.A. Like, can these cities ever catch a break? Like, like hot damn. And then, like, they show this uh, helicopter here putting this weird beacon or something. This has to be a beacon on the Washington Monument. Uh, so is this movie going to pull a rampage and, like, uh, piss off both of the monsters for some odd reason for someone's crazy ass uh, evil plot or some shit and the monsters gotta destroy that and then they start fighting each other I swear to Christ if this movie pulls a rampage I'm gonna f I'm gonna laugh I mean it'll be awesome if it does but at the same time I, I don't know what else to think about this uh, this uh, weird beacon looking thing getting attached to the Washington Monument and then we just cut to this random shot of DC at night, where off to the right, you can, like, see some smoke, and then you have this just random explosion, like, way out in the distance off to the right. Then you got some other random character. I, I don't know who this guy is. And I'm sorry, like, some of these, if these screenshots are a little blurry, because uh, I was taking them. I watched the trailer in, like, super slow-mo, and I was taking the screenshots as, like, the... Like, I, I was trying to time him as best I could. And, okay, I just want to pause talking about this trailer for a second. Um, look at this screenshot of Gilosaurus. I mean, does, doesn't that, I mean, quite literally, um, doesn't it not look like, uh, this shot here from Godzilla vs. Kong? I mean, seriously, doesn't that not look familiar? Like, seriously. Like, Gilosaurus had fire all around him, and then look at Godzilla here. Doesn't that not look like they uh, took uh, some liberty from that? Just wanted to point that out, uh, seriously, because that's what that shot clearly looked like. Now, back to the trailer. Um, okay, so we get this shot of uh, Abraham here, who apparently is at full uh, kaiju size at this point. And here, we have the main girl telling him, kick his ass. I'm, that's like my favorite line now out of this trailer. Like, seriously. And then here we go. We got both monsters duking it out. And what's so crazy, the way Gilosaurus runs, it runs like, uh, has a very human run with its shoulders moving as it runs towards uh, Abraham here. Like, dead ass. I just, so it's like, here we go. Both of them just start fighting. And I, I love this uh, screen, I love this shot right here where Abraham just goes to lay a punch on, uh, on, uh, Gilosaurus. Like, seriously. And then here we cut to, like, another random-ass explosion in the middle of, uh, or some part of, uh, Washington, D.C. Another shot of the, uh, human characters again. Uh, a shot of, uh, if you notice off to the right, Gilosaurus can apparently walk on all fours. Now, I love the fact that this, that Gilosaurus here is one of those, uh, monsters that rock, it walks on all fours and also can walk on two legs, apparently, so it does both. Now, I love monsters that do that. I know Kong did it. Well, obviously, Kong did it in, uh, Godzilla vs. Kong, and then... Also, there is one of the creatures from uh, the, the British science fiction TV series Primeval that did that. Uh, the prehistoric crocodile, Pristy Champsis, that walked, that uh, stood and that you know stood on twos and walked on all fours. So, it, so I liked how uh, Gilosaurus does the same thing here. And then you got um, Abraham climbing the uh, Washington Monument. Now, what is it with giant apes that? Uh, 
have to climb a national landmark. Like in, like you have King Kong who has climbed the Japanese Diet Building, um, the Empire State Building, and the World Trade Center. And then in 2012, uh, Bigfoot climbed Mount Rushmore. And then in Rampage, George uh, went and climbed up the uh, the famous Chicago Tower. So why is it that like famous landmarks, giant apes have to climb? Is that like, or it's like a trope or something? It's like a trademark or some shit like that. Or it's in like a giant ape contract <laughs> that not only does the ape have to be in chains, but it also has to climb a uh, famous national landmark. Okay. <laughs> And then we have another we have another shot here of Gilosaurus, and th you hear some guys say like we are at war, and it's like no shit. Do you not see what's happening? You got two giant monsters beating the shit out of each other in the middle of Washington D.C. Like bruh, seriously. <laughs> and I'm sorry, this screenshot's real like really blurry. You just got like this shot of these random military guys. And then uh, here's this chick pulling a gun on those military guys. Why somebody keeps pulling a pistol on guys with loaded assault rifles or those are SMGs. I have no idea. I have no idea what the hell's going on here. <laughs> and then here we have, uh, I think uh, this shot, my prediction here is that this shot is before the Washington Monument scene. Because here we got Abraham getting shot at. Like, dude, isn't he the good guy? Isn't he supposed to be the good guy? Like, what the hell? <laughs> like, why is he getting shot at now? Like, what the shit? I think this guy here is the dude that ordered both... He, I think this guy here that we're looking at in this screenshot, this uh, military guy, who's obviously a general, like, he has to be a general. Because generals are sometimes the biggest, like, assholes in monster movies where... They look at the main characters and they say, and uh, that guy says, Oh, all monsters are bad. You can't have one monster live. Just kill them all. You know, I think this guy here is, uh, this is the, this is that character in this movie. And then here we have this other blurry shot that I tried to take a uh, good screenshot of, of Gilosaurus getting punched in the face by Abraham. So yeah, this is just so freaking blurry. I mean, the shot was really quick, and I tried to get it as best I could. And then here we have uh, Gilosaurus just walking down the street, um, either destroying shit or looking for Abraham. And this guy, uh, in the character driving the van, does this crazy U-turn right in the middle of the road. And then I think uh, this this shot here is that dude. Um, he's from he's from a, some screenshots back and. I think this is the same shot from the one before this. Uh, it has to be. And then I uh, got this other girl who's just really pissed off or cheering Abraham on or something. I don't know why she's making that weird expression on her face. And then here is like one of the best shots out of this entire trailer right here. Like right here, this is a wallpaper. This is wallpaper worthy right here. Where you have... You get to see Gilosaurus in his full glory, and just, damn, I love his design. Like, this is why um, I like him more than Abraham, because there's only so much you can do with the design of an ape. Like, there's only so much you can do. Like, you can change up uh, some things to make the character look different. But there's only so much, like, any other monster, you can do so much with it to make it uh, distinguishable as a different monster and just seriously this whole design is just so badass like I love the design of uh, Gilosaurus here and like I said um that's my personal name for it um I don't know what this thing's name actual is in the trailer in the trailer I just heard Gila and Gila something I don't know what its real name is I didn't catch it um but yeah this shot is like the best one out of this whole trailer and then here's another shot that I tried to get um, when it's not blurry is uh, the military shooting at Gilosaurus. I think this is like at the beginning after the Gila monster uh, gets mutated. I think this is like in that same uh, same scene just like in Broad Daylight. And then here you have the Washington Monument getting blown up and Abraham falling off of it. Like what the hell is going on there? 
Like, seriously, what the hell? <laughs> and then you got um, the shot of the Washington Monument falling. And then here you just have uh, Gilosaurus and Ape uh, fighting again. And then here's the title, Ape vs. Monster. Now, I read that somebody... Uh, I read that I, somebody in this one group chat that I'm on on uh, Instagram said, Oh, they stole the logo from Godzilla vs. Kong. Uh, no, they did not, because if you look at it, the font is completely... Dude, nothing in this title, in this title screen, looks like Godzilla vs. Kong. Like, not even close. And then uh, we got a uh, guy, the dude that made a U-turn in the middle of the street to get away from Gilosaurus. We got that dude. And then cut to the shot of uh, Gilosaurus ripping off a section of a train. And then he, the trailer literally ends with him throwing it at this Humvee. So, and then that ends the uh, trailer. Now, like I said, I, wow. Um, now that I saw this, my hype for this movie just jumped up a lot more. I can't wait till I finally watch this, you know, being a huge monster fan and, you know, hashtag uh, team, uh, team monster. For those of you who actually uh, give a shit about the Asylum's uh, films like I do. So, yeah, that um, that was my... Uh, I hope you all enjoyed my... Uh, uh, what do you call? Well, I hope you all enjoyed my trailer breakdown uh, for this movie. Um, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, also, uh, please follow me on Instagram at Lizardman2021. All right, uh, this is Tim W. Rago, and I'm going to say peace out, everybody, and see you all in whatever video I decide to do next. All right? See ya.